Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about 12 lead ECG placement. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. In this session, we will be learning only about the placement of ECG electrodes within EC technique. ECG or EKG, what we call as electrocardiography, is a non-invasive procedure. It records the electrical activity of the heart by placing electrodes on the body surface. Next comes uses of ECG. ECG is used to find the heart rate for finding cardiac arrhythmias like ventricular tachycardia, heart block, etc. For finding any impairment in coronary blood flow like cardiac ischemia and infarction. For finding electrolyte imbalance, myocarditis and cardiomyopathy. Placement of ECG electrodes on an obese patient might be a challenge especially in identifying the intercostal space. Improper placement of electrodes can result in misdiagnosis. Deviation of lead placement from the correct position can create changes on the ECG. Now, let's have a look on ECG machine which comprises 10 wires consisting of 4 limb or peripheral leads that is RA, LA for right arm, left arm, RL, LL for right leg and left leg. 6 chest leads or precardial leads which are numbered as V1 to V6. The standard ECG which is referred to as a 12 lead ECG since it includes 12 leads is obtained using 10 electrodes. Next comes preparation of the patient for ECG electrode placement. First comes position. Place patient in a supine position and arms down by their sides. Patient's legs should be uncrossed. Next is preparation of skin. Dry the skin if it is moist. Shave any hair that can interfere with electrode placement. Next comes electrical devices. Electrical devices such as mobile phones should be away from the patient as these devices may interfere with the machine. This might cause changes in the ECG reading. Next is electrode gel. Electrode gel should be moist and this acts as a coupling between electrodes and the skin to aid transmission of electroactivity. Another important point is electrodes should not be placed over bones and over areas where there is a lot of muscle movement because this muscle movement may create an electrical activity. Now, coming to the placement of ECG chest electrodes, remember to keep in mind three important parts, sternum for V1 and V2, clavicle for V3 and V4, axilla for V5 and V6. Now, let's look into the placement of these chest electrodes on each part. V1 and V2 are on either side of sternum at the fourth intercostal space. V1 on the right side and V2 on the left side. V4 is mid clavicular line on the fifth intercostal space. V3 is halfway between V2 and V4. V6 is at mid axillary line on the fifth intercostal space. V5 is halfway between V4 and V6 on the 5th intercostal space. Now, we may be confused how to identify the 4th intercostal space. Why? Because the chest lead placement begins from the 4th intercostal space. Let's discuss how do we do this. The angle of Louis is a useful place to start counting the ribs. And with this technique, we can identify the fourth intercostal space. Angle of Louis is otherwise called the sternal angle. Now, let's look on how do we do this. Palpate the jugular notch or sternal notch 
which is above the sternum as shown in this image. From the sternal notch, move your fingers down the manubrium a few centimeters until you feel a bony lump or ridge, which we call it as angle of Louis or sternal angle. In this picture, we can clearly see the sternal notch below which is the manubrium under which we find the sternal angle. After identifying sternal angle, move your hand to your right or left side and feel the second rib, then descend into the second left intercostal space. Intercostal space is nothing but the space between two ribs and here second intercostal space is a space between second rib and the third rib. After identifying second intercostal space, descend your fingers down to identify the third intercostal space and repeat the same to identify the fourth intercostal space. And once we identify the fourth intercostal space, the procedure to begin the placement of electrodes will be easy. Now let's begin the placement of the chest leads. First is V1 which is placed on the fourth intercostal space to the right of the sternum. Next is V2 which is placed on the fourth intercostal space to the left of the sternum. The reason why we keep in mind sternum for the placement of V1 and V2 is because it is very close to the sternum. Next comes placement of V4 which is on the fifth intercostal space at the left midclavicular line. Next comes V3 which is placed directly between V2 and V4. Next comes placement of V6 at mid axillary line on the fifth intercostal space. Next is placement of V5 which is placed between V4 and V6 on level with V4 at the anterior axillary line. So this is all about placement of chest leads. The reason why we place the chest leads on particular places are V1 covers right ventricle, V2 and V3 covers the septum, V4 covers the apex, V5 and V6 covers left ventricle and left lateral wall which overall records the electrical activity of the heart. Next comes limb leads. Left arm limb lead LA is placed just above the left wrist. Right arm limb lead RA is placed just above the right wrist. Right leg limb lead RL is placed just above the right ankle. Left leg limb lead LL is placed just above the left ankle. Remember before applying these leads, gel should be applied because it acts as a coupling between electrodes and the skin to aid transmission of electrical activity. There are different types of electrodes, bulb electrodes and patch electrodes. Remember when we use bulb electrodes, it is important to use gel. In women, placement of chest electrodes should be under the breast in order to capture the ECG because breast tissue appears to have a practically negligible effect on ECG amplitudes. So this is all about 12 lead ECG placement. If you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.